What in the world? Uh, uh, oh! Poke that sucker. It was abominable. 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 Ab <laughs> I mean, it's cute. It's penguin. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it as always. Today I am super excited because I just got in the brand spanking new Sephora Frosted Party 24 piece advent calendar. I am an advent calendar freak. I love anything advent calendar, whether it's socks or t-shirts or beauty related stuff, fingernail polishes. I'm all about that. I love Christmas crackers too, but that is beyond the point. Advent calendars is where it's at for me. I love giving these to my kids. It's like a present every single day on the way to Christmas and it's holiday season. I'm all here for it this year. So if y'all are interested in seeing spoilers of what this year's Sephora Frosted Party Advent Calendar is, as well as a review of what the contents are, then please keep on watching. So really quickly, I just want to get the technical stuff out of the way. I paid $45 for this plus tax and shipping. So I think it came out to around $54 or something like that. Not inexpensive by any means of the imagination. And hopefully it is better quality than it was last year because I watched a video last year with Alexandria Ryan and it was abominable, 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 Ab <laughs> was really bad so hopefully this year is a lot better it does have some sneak peek stuff on the back side but I'm not looking at it whatsoever so I want to be surprised with every single thing that is inside so whenever you open it up this is what it looks like so it is quite big I don't know if you can see how long it is so it's about two feet long and we're gonna start with the number one if i could find where it's at okay here's number one we're just gonna open it up and see what's inside oh okay so it is a lipstick so this is the sephora lip stories lipstick and this is in the shade we oui, um which is yes in french and this is the color very very pretty color it's something that i would actually very much wear and it's very creamy and pretty. It's almost identical, maybe a little bit lighter than the shade I'm wearing right now, which is Kat Von D Lolita. So very, very pretty. It smells nice too. So number two is over here and we're just gonna kind of dig in. Okay, so this is um, called a Sephora Pillow Battle and this is a fizzing star. So I'm guessing this is like a bath fizzy or something. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to look. Yeah, so it's a bath bomb. Really, really small bath bomb, but it is a bath bomb nonetheless. Oh, it smells good. It smells very fruity. So that's number two. Number three is right here. So we're gonna push it. Okay, so this is the Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. So it's just um, a couple of them. So it's just two little packs right here. And I've never used these before, so I don't really know how they work or whatever. I usually prefer the Neutrogena um, makeup remover wipes, but these will do in a pinch. I could put these in a purse or something like that or give them to my daughter. Number four is right here. And this is, oh, okay. So this is the soothing mask. So this is for pores. Yeah, this is like a Biore pore strip um, from Sephora. So it's a pineapple nose mask. And um, yeah, and really quickly before we move on, I just wanna say how cute the design is. It's got little penguins and little igloos everywhere. And it's got like a little maze of where they've been and where they're going. And I think that's really cute. It's got like glitter details around it. And I just love the way this looks. Very, very cute. And if um, you're interested in getting this for a kid or, you know, like a teenager or something, it would be very much age appropriate. So this is where number five is. I'm just going to dig on in. Okay, so this is the Sephora Let's Have Fun Melting Shower Jelly. So it's just a single use um, shower jelly from Sephora. So that's pretty good. So number six is right here 
oops, and it is a lip pencil. This is in the shade Classic Red 03. So that will definitely get used. I love wearing red lipstick during the holiday season. So I am pretty stoked about that. Even though it's a mini, I'm still cool with it. Number seven is way over on this side. And this is what it looks like. What is this? Okay. So it's a little hair tie. It's one of those little squiggly hair ties. My daughter likes these. I will definitely give this to her. In fact, most of this stuff will be given to her. Um, but I don't really use these. I don't particularly care for them very much. So that was number seven. Mm, not that great. So number eight is also over here. And let's see what number eight is. Okay, it's um, eye makeup. Ah, it's this one again. So... Eh, not really jazzed about that. Number nine is this one right here. And it's just got a cute little penguin right there. Standing by a Christmas tree. So, so cute. Oh, okay. So this is one of their colorful shimmer. It's called Under the Cover. And it's uh, one of their eyeshadows. I am familiar with Sephora eyeshadows. I do like them. They're pretty good quality. Um, they have kind of gone down in quality over the years but I am happy to have it nonetheless. I'm glad it wasn't another one of these. Now we're on to number 10. Number 10 is Overchion, and this is, what is this? Is another Bath Busy. <laughs> number 11 is over here, and that is a black eye pencil. So this is in the shade Intense Black. I could always use another eye pencil or give this to somebody who could use it more than me. Maybe I can donate it or put it in a giveaway. Wish it was a different color, maybe a green or a coppery color. I think that would be a little bit more interesting, but you know, black is a good shade. So, all right, on to the next one. Number 12 is this tiny, teeny, teeny one right here. And this is what it looks like. And what in the world? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> it's a clothespin. Yay, it's a little penguin clothespin. This is number 13, and it's kind of a big one in compared to most of the other ones. And it's a nail polish wipe. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is not going well. Okay, number 14 is this one right here on the other side, and it's a nice big one as well. This is a, another melting shower jelly. So once again, we have two of those, and this is number 15. It's quite a long one, if you can tell. So hopefully it's something really good. Okay, it's, a, it's another face mask. All right, um, this is the Shea Lip Mask. It's uh, moisturizing and smoothing. So that's what it looks like. This is number 16. It's way on the other side. I do like how they mix it up and they don't have it going in order. So that does make it a little bit more fun. Okay, this is a fingernail file. <laughs> so... This is 17 over, way over here. And what the H? Okay, it's um, nail stickers. It's holographic, really, really pretty nail stickers. Um, definitely not gonna be using these. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It has really cute little stars across of it. Across of it, across it. So really pretty holographic. My boobs are poking out. Let me just reel those in. All right, on to the next one, and that is going to be number 18. That's way over here, and I'm just going to pop that sucker. It's fingernail polish. How about that? Sephora fingernail polish. Really pretty color. Um, I'm more of a gel girl. I use the Lavender Violets um, fingernail polish, but I know who would like this, so I'm definitely going to be giving that away. The next one is number 19, and this is where it's at on this side. And once again, it is another mask. This is their purifying and scrubbing um, Sephora Charcoal Nose Strip Mask, number 20. And we're almost there. So number 20 is, what is this? 
Oh, okay. It's a um, it's a little penguin mirror. So it's a little like mirror that you would put in your purse or something like that. I just took the film off of it and it is a really good quality mirror. So I'm sure my daughter can use this in her backpack or put it in her purse or something just for on the go needs. So that was number 20. Now I'm going to do number 21 if I could find it. Number 21. Here it is. It's over here on this right hand column and it's another mask. So this one is the Smoothing and Toning Grape Eye Mask. So this is one that I might use. Number 22 is up here on the right hand corner. So once again, it looks like we got another hair tie. This is a little clear one. I really don't like these. They're just super, super cheap. Um, but it is what it is. Number 23 is right here. This is the second to last one. And this is another lip color. And this is in the shade Watermelon. This is a lip balm. And I actually really enjoy Sephora lip balms. It's this really pretty color. Um, let me see if it's clear or not. Yeah, it comes out pretty clear. It has just a little tint of color right there, but these are really good and creamy. Has a nice uh, subtle smell. So I do really like that. And then finally, number 24 is, number 24 is a pink tea um, cream lip stain. So this is what the packaging looks like. I have tried their lip stains in the past. Not really crazy about lip stains in general, um, especially one that this is this color. So I'm not really pleased about that, but um, I know my daughter would like it or maybe one of her friends. So all in all, that was everything that was in the uh, Sephora Advent Calendar. So is this year's Sephora Frosted Party Advent Calendar worth $45? And that is a big no. Unfortunately, I wish, I wish it was. I was super excited to be opening this, but it is not. And I mean, it is definitely an improvement from last year, so I will give them the credit on that, but it's just not good quality stuff. They have a whole slew of stuff that they could have included that Sephora makes, Sephora brand stuff they could have included in this advent calendar and just didn't. So, I mean, one of the things they included that I'm really happy that they did is this one. And when I saw that they included a full size Sephora lipsticks as day number one, I was really hoping that it would continue throughout the whole box and not like steadily decline. But unfortunately, that's what it did. So yeah, this is going to be a pass guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all found it informative and helpful. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, let me know in the comment section below if the Sephora advent calendar is something y'all would pick up for a friend or a family member or even a co-worker um, for the holiday season. Once again, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of y'all and I'll be seeing you very, very soon. Bye.